That's right, baby. 125SX KTM. This bike is really cool and it's actually pretty fast. I was just ripping around the yard. This thing is so much fun. You know, I'm used to the 450. I didn't think, I, I mean, I actually had a 125 before. Same thing, SX 125, but it was an 04. This one's an 07. I had it, oh, I don't know, like 10 years ago. And I never took it riding, I bought it to resell, but I did ride it and it was, it needed a top end and stuff. It was really, I, I think it needed a top end because it was just so slow, but I was, I thought it was, you know, 125 just was not that fast. Well, this one's way faster than that one. There's nothing crazy. It's got the little FMF shorty on it. The Force 3 reads. I don't even know if it has a filter, but I imagine it probably has some kind of filter on there. But it's it's got some power. Once you hit the power band, man, this thing moves. Really cool, man. I was toting around the yard. This thing is a lot of fun. I might even consider keeping this and selling my CRF 450R. Just because, I mean, this bike, ah, it's just a lot of fun. And I mean, it's kind of has a, uh, like a little bit of a special place in my heart just because there's a KTM dealer right by me. It's a Suzuki, Suzuki and KTM dealer. And uh, growing up as a kid, you know, when I was, I mean, when this bike was new, I was, I guess like 15 years old. And, uh, you know, I can remember going to the dealership. My dad would take me there and I would just, I was always looking at the 125 SXs, the 250 SXs, the RM 125s, RM 250s. So this bike is one of those bikes that, you know, growing up, I was always like, man, one day I want to have one of these. So it's a cool bike. Also, I got the KX85 pretty much done. The only thing I need to do, I just need to, I know I have a clamp for this somewhere. That's all it needs. Everything else is done. I just got it together yesterday. I got footage on that, putting that together. I should have that up uh, the next day or so. Banshees of Crispy. Sold the Katana. Um, the guys that bought the Katana were really cool. Uh, that turned out to be a real good experience. Uh, real cool guys. What's up guys? I'm here with Will and Rich. Rich is buying the Katana 600. What kind of bike we got here, Will? Uh, 2013 Victory Judge. Sick bike. So it's got 100, 130 foot pounds of torque. Evil headline. Yeah, seriously, blinding. These guys were awesome though. Bikes going to a good home. A lot of right. Hopefully they find out it's not a piece of junk before they get it down the road. Have to get out of range first. <laughs> Social response video if it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll tag you in the video. <laughs> hey man, take a look at this. What the heck?
So yeah, guys, that's my new toy. I'm definitely gonna take this thing riding. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, we'll see, but I'm definitely gonna take it riding. First, I gotta take the Banshee riding, not this weekend, but the following weekend, I'll be going up to Hazleton uh, with my buddy Jason. That's uh, no front brakes, Jason. It's my only cruise, it doesn't have a front brake. <laughs> and I uh, gotta live reckless sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no brake. <laughs> and, uh, I'll probably be bringing the Banshee because I haven't taken that riding yet. So I should get some sick footage there. We had a slow-mo camera and it fell off of um, Jason's RC boat, fell into the lake, and it's gone forever. So I don't know about slow-mo footage. I had some really cool ideas, but we'll get a new camera in the future, maybe just not for this trip. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.